Hey, yo, Shalom, we'll get this on camera. We'll zoom in right there. That's good. Shalom, we're going to, uh, first, we're going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak with Das. We'll give double honors to the uh, apostles and elders. The great millstone, that's what we learn from. And that's the only elders. We say Shalom to the hockey. For all the brothers out there putting in work. You got to put in work. Hey, according to the scriptures, you're supposed to go teach the gospel. Let's start off with that. Because that's what it all begins with. Forget uh, Matthew 10, 5 and 6. You can't never get that enough. You know what I mean? But that's the gospel. That's what we was commanded to do. We was commanded to go uh, teach the lost sheep of the house of Israel. We was commanded to go wake up the Israelites. We wasn't commanded to go uh, teach all nations and wake up heathens. You know, the Bible is not for a heathen. The Bible's only for Israelites. The Bible ain't for all the nations. The Lord ain't dealing with all the nations. Huh? Happy Kobe Bryant Day. Kobe Bryant Day? Kobe gone. Ain't nothing. He ain't he resurrected. Huh? Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Well, he resting, that's for sure. And he in peace right now, that's for sure. Because when he was on the earth, he was a demon. He wasn't teaching the word of the Lord, was he? I ain't, you never hear about Kobe even talk about the Most High that much. Really, when you think about it, Most High took him out, but now Kobe is at peace. That's what happens when you die. You go, you go back to the Father. Uh, I would go into that. She does, but we can read that. That's how we can read it. Matthew ten and five. These twelve y'all tried to send forth and commanded them, saying, "Go not into the way of the Gentiles, into any city of the Samaritans, this city is not." Hey, so the Bible said, "Go not to the Gentiles." But you got all these dumb Christians talking about, oh, we're all Gentiles. Let's say everybody in the whole church is a Gentile. Everybody. That's what they say. Every last person in the church is a Gentile. But here it is. When you read the scriptures, all the disciples of everybody was all Israelites. The Lord himself, the one they called Jesus. And his name's not Jesus. His name's Yahweh Shad. He's an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You got Paul, uh, St. Paul. He was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. That's why he had, the Lord got 12 disciples that represents the 12 tribes of Israel. Peter was an Israelite, okay? And Peter, he was the head disciple. He was the head of the church. So here it is in the scriptures, all the leaders and everybody in the Bible, that they're all Israelites. And the whole congregation was all Israelites. So where did these Christians come up with this thing? They teaching that everybody in their congregation is a Gentile. That, that's that's off. Go ahead. He said, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Oh, there it is right there. He said, go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But see, you read that to a Christian, and they're going to deny that scripture. They're rejected. Every, every time they reject it, they got a problem with it. Why do y'all got a problem with it? Why can't you just let the scriptures say what they say? They'll try to flip it around and turn it up like, oh, it don't really mean that. It means what it says, man. The scripture. Oh, let me get that scripture. Uh, go, go ahead. Read the last part of that. As you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, heal the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely you give. Oh, this part was fired. Yeah. So it said, go preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Oh, Acts the first chapter. Get Acts first chapter. You know when they say this time you go. And the kingdom of heaven is only for the Israelites. The disciples knew that. Like I said, all the disciples, all the 12 disciples was all Israelites. All the so-called Christians in the Bible was all Israelites. They might have been one time living in Greek lands or they thought they was a Greek. You know what I mean? Because Israel got scattered among all nations and they lost their identity. But we're going to prove the kingdom's only for Israel. Well, first of all, he just said go uh, only to the Lost sheep of the house of Israel preach, saying the kingdom's at hand. He said, go teach Israel. He didn't say, go teach the Edomites that the kingdom is at hand. He didn't say, go teach to the, uh, go preach to the Hamites. He didn't say, go preach to the Gentiles, saying the kingdom. Actually, he actually said, go, go not to the Gentiles. He said, go to the Israelites. That's in the Bible. So if y'all, y'all say that's not true, y'all denying the Lord. Pretty much that's what you're doing. 
So you can lie to yourself all you want, but the scriptures say what they say. Because really, that's what people do. They got pride. They just they don't lie to the, lie to themselves. They're gonna pretend like that scripture don't say what it says. I guess the Acts the uh, one and seven, and this is huh? Or uh, six, and this is uh after the Lord resurrected, and they came back and he was talking to the disciples. So this was they was asking the Lord a question. We'll go ahead. Let's we'll see what question they asked the Lord. He said, "Will thou this time restore again the kingdom to Israel?" So here, that, that's after the Lord resurrected and everything. So after he came back, he was walking with the disciples, teaching them. And uh, I mean, the, the disciples, they knew the truth. They already knew the kingdom was for Israel. They've been known that. That's why they asked the Lord, asked the Lord, he's like, are you, you going to restore the kingdom to Israel now? But that wasn't the time back then. Now we coming into that time soon when the Lord, he's going to restore the kingdom to the nation of Israel, the people on his side. Anything to add to that? Yeah, the kingdom's only for the Israelites. I got a scripture too. Now, like I said, these Christians, bro. <laughs> you try to te teach this Bible to these Christians, they'll lose their minds. Their head will explode. You read these scriptures, their head explodes. You know, they can't. They can't get it. Yeah, so? yeah, I'll go ahead. Yeah, so Psalm 1, 2, 3 says, Go to the city that is packed together with the tribes go up. The tribes of the Yahweh uh, are the testimony of Israel to give thanks unto the name of Yahweh. For they are set thrones of judgment to the of the house of David. Ooh, the, throne, the house of David. Hey, read that again. I want to break that down. Yeah, I want to hear that again. Jerusalem is built as he said the tribe. What tribe? That's the twelve tribes. Go ahead. To the testimony of Israel. To the thanks it, it's the a, it said the testimony of Israel, right? The testimony? Like the New Testament? The Old Testament? You know what I mean? That testament? Them testaments? <laughs> Give thanks to the name of Yahweh, but there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. The thrones of the house of David. And that's the spirit that you read that scripture. But look at the scripture I was about to read. See, that's how the spirit works, man. See, I, I didn't know what scripture he was going to get. You know what I mean? But look what I'm about to read. Uh, the spirit be guiding us out here. So we get, uh, this is uh, Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, which is reincarnation, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. See that? That goes right with the scripture. He's that by that judgment, that judgment seat on the thrones. But he said that them that follow me, they're gonna sit on the thrones. Well, what did it say? Let me read it again. Ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones. Twelve thrones? What does that mean, twelve thrones? Where did they get that number twelve? <laughs> you shall sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So it's all about Israel. It is, you know what I mean? Obviously, we're going to judge the heathens too, but Israel comes first. Okay, because. Israel come first. We're above the other heathens. Really, they're irrelevant. They're just going to be servants in the kingdom. They're going to be bond men, bond women. Because in the kingdom of heaven, all these heathens, they're going to go, they're going to go into uh, slavery. That's just the way it is. What you got? The people, they don't want to, they, they can't accept the truth, man. 
Because the truth is not for everybody. You can only get this truth to the Lord himself if the Most High himself opens your eyes. And that's not going to happen to most of y'all people. Because we already know most people that ain't going to listen. But that's good. Y'all can listen to the missiles. That's what y'all get to listen to. That crackling. The crackling of your flesh. <laughs> What you looking for? Yourself. Huh? Yourself. Right. Yourself? Uh, y O U R S E L V E? Or yourselves? What scripture you looking for? People say, like, you're just going to yourselves. I can't hear that. It's so loud out here, I can't hear. I'll just get more scriptures, man. Proving the Lord only dealing with the Israelites. <laughs> Which one should we get? There's so many. Which one should I get? Should I get James or should I get Romans? Which one? <laughs> or shit. You know, there's endless scriptures. I'm going to get this. This is, because uh, you know, a lot of people will tell them that the uh, Lord only came for Israel. And they'll be like, what about Paul? Paul was teaching the Gentiles. Well, we about to read what Paul said. This is Romans 9 and 1. I say that truth is in a, a Messiah. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart for I could wish that myself were a curse uh, from Yahweh Shai for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh who are Israelites. So Paul said that his kinsmen are the Israelites. That's his people. What's a kinsman? That's my kinfolk right there. You know, yeah, people, oh, that's my kinfolk, boy. You know, that's your family. That's your people. Uh, <laughs> my kinsmen, according to the flesh, look, who are Israelites? So Paul said his kinsmen, his family, they are they Israelites. They didn't say they was heathens. Who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the most high and the promises so paul right here right here paul just said that the covenants of the bible was only given to the israelites he said that the adoption because you a lot of christians they'll try to say oh the gentiles got adopted in that's not what the bible said Right here, we just read it. Paul said the adoption is for Israel. He said the covenants are for Israel. The, you know what I'm saying? The Old Testament and New Testament. And he said the promises. The promises is for Israel. You know, everybody, you know, pastor love to talk about the promises, don't it? Oh, we got the promise. We got that promise. The, pro the promise is only for the Israelites. But these people, they can't get it. But that's good though. We glad y'all can't get it. You got anything? I'm just busting out the, all the basics. Nothing wrong with getting them basics. James 1 and 1. James, we got all kind of scriptures proving the Lord only came for the Israelites. There's so many scriptures in the, the Bible is all about the nation of Israel. From the Old Testament to the New Testament, it's all about the Israelites. James 1 and 1, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad greeting. So James, y'all know James was the brother of the Lord. And he said he was only talking to the 12 tribes that are scattered. Oh, I was on bit shoot. Somebody came up on a comment board. And he said, because it, it didn't say the 12 tribes of Israel. He said, oh, that's, it said 12 tribes. It didn't say 12 tribes of Israel. I'm like, you sound dumb, bro. You know what I mean? These people, they, they, can't, they can't get around. You can't get around it. They try to squirm and wiggle their way out of it. You can't get it. You can't get out of it. We got the truth. 
We the only ones that have the truth. Y'all ain't got no truth. We have the truth. These people out here, they walk around in, in fucking darkness, bro. These people, they lost. And the Lord said, my people is a lost sheep. Who's that? The Israel, y'all, lost sheep. Oh, you must got that fire scripture coming. This is bad. It's so, I know, man. Fuck. It says pretty much the rulers are going to be of themselves. No more somebody should rule over them. Oh, fuck, man. No it's more should they rule over them. I know that scripture. <laughs> Go ahead. I got one. I got one. We get his revelation. We get our revelations. Yeah, baby. And these scriptures are beautiful, man. And the truth is so simple, too. You know what I mean? These people, they can't believe their own eyes and what they read. Man, I'm not familiar with this Bible. Forgive me, I'm taking a minute. I got a different Bible today. Uh, was that the... Where should I start? Oh, man, this is fire. I'm going to read the whole chapter. Let me get the... Uh, uh, Slock here. Give me a second. I'm looking for where I want to start at. Okay, hold on a second. All right, here we go. This is Revelation 21 and 10. It says... And this is going to give you a description of the kingdom of heaven. Like, we already read... Scriptures that said that we supposed to go uh, teach the 12 tribes of Israel and tell them that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So, you know, the book of Revelation, it gives you a clear description of the kingdom of heaven. Now, let's see what, let's see what, let's see what it looks like. Revelation 21 and 10. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain. And show me that great city, the holy Jerusalem. Oh, the holy Jerusalem. Whose city was the city of Jerusalem? That's the city of the Israelites. Okay, that's the capital of Israel. Okay, it didn't say the holy uh, Egypt or what, what's the city of Egypt? <laughs> I forgot. My brain done fr got fried. I can't remember. Ugh. So the Lord ain't dealing with no Egypt. Okay. It didn't say no city. It didn't say no city of no heathens. We got well, obviously people gonna say I'm dumb. You don't know no Egyptian cities like Memphis. Like I don't know Egyptian cities. Okay. Uh, he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from the Most High, having the glory of the Most High, and her light was like unto the stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. And had a wall great and high, and had 12 gates, and at the gates 12 angels. And on the names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So here, that's the kingdom of heaven. That's the holy Jerusalem. That's going to be on earth. And here it is, the scripture said, that the kingdom of heaven going to have 12 gates. And, it's, it's a of and on the 12 gates are written the names of the children of Israel, the 12 tribes. And that's why the Lord had 12 disciples. You, how can the Lord have 12 disciples? That represents the 12 tribes of Israel. Because the Lord came to take away uh, the sins of the Israelites. The Lord didn't come to take away sins from heathens. The Lord going to come to put the heathens in slavery. That's what's going to happen to them. The Lord only came to save the Israelites. That's a fact. That's a 100% fact. It's a 100% fact that salvation is only for Israelites. 100% fact. Irrefutable fact. Okay? <laughs> you fight? You fight that yet? No, which one you said? Uh, Revelation 21. Yeah. Hey, you just, I just, you just get mad. You know, you get, I'm mad, but I'm not mad. Be fine. 
That's good though. You know, if people don't can't understand it, that's good. That's a good one. All right, he says, their seed shall be known among the Gentiles and their offspring among the people. And all they, so like all that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which Yahweh have blessed. That obviously shows a separation that somebody, the Gentiles, is going to look at the, the, the children, the children of the Lord blessed as the as the blessed children, as the chosen one. The rest is the Gentiles, the heathens. And they're heathens. But there's more to that though than the 60, but well, you gotta go back to 60. Or 60 and the whole them whole two chapters, it's all far. <laughs> what is that one when the uh what is talking about how they gonna vent on uh their queens and all that? Or something. They gonna be They gonna come bending down to us or something like that. Uh, Isaiah 60, 14. Sons also of them that afflicted, he shall come back. It said the to sons him. also of them that afflicted. You might just speak, speak up a little bit out here. The sons also of them that afflicted thee. So who afflicted the nation of Israel? All these other heathen nations afflicted, starting with the Edomites. The so-called white man, so you can understand. I'll read that again. Sons also of them that afflicted, he shall come bidding unto thee. All they that despise thee shall bow themselves unto thee. All right. That's Satan. Read that again. I want that to come out clearly for the camera. It's so loud out here. The sons of the, also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. All they that despise thee shall bow down themselves down at the soles of thy feet. They shall call thee the city of Yahweh, the Zion, the Holy One of Israel. Right, so all them heathen nations in the kingdom, they're going to bow down. There's another scripture that said they're going to lick the dust of our feet. So they're going to they bow down and they're going to go into slavery. And that's biblical. Hey, that's an, oh, <laughs> that's a revelation, 13 and 9. 13, 9 and 10, uh, 10, it said what? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. What's that talking about? That's in the Bible. But if you read that scripture to one of these white people, they're like, oh, it don't mean that. It don't mean they're really, really going into slavery. That, that means what it says. It says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Who led people into captivity in America? Was not America founded on slavery? Who led those people into captivity? And those are the Israelites. The so-called black people in America, they're Israelites. And the so-called white man put them into slavery. We're gonna say that didn't happen? We're gonna deny it? You know, they try to erase history. They think you can just do away with it. The scriptures say the Most High requires that which is past. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, ain't no crimes going unpunished, bro. So when the scriptures say, he that leadeth into, tech, into captivity shall go into captivity, it means what it says. But yeah, they, they don't really like that scripture. Oh, he would not at all acquit the wicked. So the so-called white man was actually an Edomite. The Edomites. There's no such thing as white people. So the Edomites, they put the Israelites in slavery in America. And they're not going to be acquitted. Of that. They got to they be judged for that. They got to be punished for that. And I'm going to say this, too, because y'all get all emotional. Ah, y'all racist. A lot of these so <laughs> not all these white people are Edomites. A lot of these so-called white people... They call y'all white trash. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all actually Israelites. Y'all descend from Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Just throw that out there. You know, people get emotional when they hear that. Like, oh my God. Well, go ahead. Read that again. That's fire. You still got that? Weird ass. Yeah, he's an Edomite. Small head, you got big ass. Day of one and three. He says, yeah, I was slow to anger. Great power. Oh, and most high slow to anger. So that's why you people be like, oh, wow, the log ain't come back. He ain't never coming back. You know, he's slow to anger. But when that anger, oh, it's like the the script, the kingdom of heaven is like a woman that tra uh, travels in, in birth or something like that. Oh, go ahead. So, and if not all, I quit the wicked. I will have his 
way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds of the dust of his feet. Ooh, in the way, in the whirlwind. The Lord coming back in them chariots. suffered a grievous wound okay but now uh, Roman Empire has been reincarnated as America oh yeah that's a revelation that's an 18 ain't it look at that So the sins of reaching to heaven mean the most high. He sees everything that's going on out here. He sees what these devils are doing out here, man. He sees how he's fucking up this whole earth. You know what I mean? Most high sees the shit. He sees all this evil shit they're doing. He's going to put it into it. You might get 18. You should have read all of that. Esau is going to be taken out the way. And the Esau is the so-called white man. He's going to be taken out the way. And America going to be destroyed. That's what's going to happen. All these devils, they're going to go into slavery. You can't... Oh. Uh, we have to get open down at 18. You got it? I just, I just thought of... Uh, I just thought of fucking uh, Mace Windu killing the... Uh, you remember he, when Mace Windu and Anakin... They rolled up on Palpatine. You remember that part? And uh, Mace Windu was about to kill uh, kill the Emperor, and Anakin was like, "No, I need him." And Mace Windu was like, "He's too dangerous to be left alive." You know what I mean? Esau, that's the so-called white man, Esau. He's too goddamn dangerous to be left alive. You can't let him continue to exist. He'll destroy the whole planet. He'll ravage the whole planet. You know what I mean? He'll, he'll pollute the earth until there ain't nothing left. He'll destroy everything. And he's too dangerous to be left alive. And then that's an Emperor Palpatine. He's like the textbook Edomite, really, when you look at it. You know what I mean? But that's exactly how an Edomite acts. You know? uh, go ahead, read that. That one eighteen says... It says, in the house of Jacob shall be a fire, in the house of Joseph a flame. 
And the house of Israel for stubble. Yeah. And they start at the, at the top. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Israel, I mean, house of Israel, shit, wow. Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Israel. Esau. That's, 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 that's a, a, a demon coming out here for our fuck with. Just read it again. So if, if you got to do it, say, fuck you, Satan. The house of Jacob hey, there's a scripture in the Apocrypha that said, man, uh, slip it in the speech, but not in his heart. I do that a lot, too, man. Sometimes you just, you get excited. You know, you slip it. Go ahead. We got to get The house of Esau is going to be stubble. Go ahead. So, so the Bible said there shall not be any remaining in the house of Esau for the Lord has spoken it. And that's a future prophecy. That's an end time prophecy. That has not happened yet. And the hey, proof that ain't happened yet is because it said the house of uh, Joseph and the house of Israel. That, that's talking about all 12 tribes. And all 12 tribes have not yet reunited all the way. Because uh, during, during the time of the Lord, there's only three tribes in the land of Israel. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Hey, read that again really loud. This is uh, very nice. Sure, it's coming a thousand dollars again. Yeah, yeah. Peter, they can start talking about Because you got all these stupid Christians, they're going to say, oh, the Edomites were done away with during the uh, Roman Jewish wars or whatever. But you know that's some bullshit. Because first of all, uh, we're going to find out with the prophecy. Read that prophecy. Yeah, even, if, even if that did happen, either way, Christians are wrong. Either way, the race got right the fuck off. The and how, they say all the Edomites was done away with during the Roman Jewish wars. But the Hayrods were Edomites. They survived the Roman Jewish wars. You had a uh, Archelaus, Hayrod Archelaus. He's the son of uh, Hayrod. You know, he's the... He actually he took he actually got uh, kicked out of the land of Israel, and him and his whole family they moved to France, and then they started a uh, they started their own community in France, and he had children, and their children had children, and so on and so forth. That's in the history books, but the Christians know history. You think any Christian know who Archelaus is? No, they don't. They don't know that, bro. They don't know a goddamn thing. So no, the Edomites were not done away with in the Roman Jewish war. But, uh, but here, we got to pay close attention to the prophecy. Go ahead. Yeah, the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. So it says that, what does it say? The house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. That's talking about all 12 tribes. All 12 tribes. During the time of the Roman Jewish war, when they claimed the Edomites were all killed, there was only three tribes in the land that time. It's Benjamin, Judah, and Levi. 700 years prior to that, the northern 10 tribes had left the land of Israel. Okay, so there was only three tribes. The prophecy says that all 12 tribes of Israel would participate in this extermination of the Edomites. All 12 tribes, not just three. Oh, but actually, too, they say all the Edomites is done away with. But uh, according to the histories, who, who did they say killed them? The Israelites killed them? Because you, you, that don't even make no sense. Because it would have been the Romans that would have killed them, even though the Romans were eating. That don't even make sense. It doesn't make no sense at all. Where that? Oh, this is houses? They probably pay a fortune to live in there. That's Esau, man. Hey, Esau like his habitation high. You know what I mean? How you got me fucked up? Why ain't living up in there? So they're gonna be no more Edomites, according to the, oh, and that also proves to look. That's an end time prophecy. That ain't happened yet, and they say all the Edomites are gonna be exterminated. That proves the Lord didn't come to save all nations. He didn't come for the Edomites. They're all getting destroyed. That's right there in the book of Obadiah. And the New Testament said the same thing. Romans 9 and 13 says what? Uh, Jacob have I loved, 
but Esau have I hated. Jacob is is a man. Jacob's a man whose name was changed to Israel. That's from whom all the twelve tribes of Israel descend. The Lord loves Jacob, and he hates Esau. He hates Esau. He does not love Esau. He hates him. Numbers 24 14. It says, And now, behold, I come, I go into my people and come, therefore, now advise me what this people shall do to thy people in the latter days. Oh, in the latter days. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a good point. That's a very, very good observation. I've already destroyed my party. This ain't the latter days that whatever the fuck Esau was destroyed. That should have been the latter days. That means we're in the kingdom by now. Definitely, yeah, we are yeah. definitely not in the kingdom. Yeah. Well, you got some dumb Christians there, bro. They say America is the kingdom. They say America's been blessed by God. Okay, with all these stocks out here, and these sodomites, okay. That's the thing, too. That's, that's why the Christians, they, they, don't, they don't like prophecy. They hate prophecy. When you go into prophecy, they fucking hate it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what, that's what the Lord said. He's, he got the spirit of prophecy. That's the most important thing. He puts the covenant to prophesy. Because that, that cuts every, all these bullshit lies. That's true. The prophecy. Yeah, the prophecy kill all that shit, man. Virgin birth, the so called virgin birth, that's prophecy the Lord is going to uh, marry, is going to have a child, but not as not a so called virgin, but as come through the seed of David. So that kills the lies of uh, the virgin shit. Uh, the Lord will the Lord love everybody, whatever that bullshit. Leave the prophecy, that's all you got to do. Well, yeah, because he said one of them, among your brother going to come. Yeah, all the prophecies kill all the lies. That's a good point. It says, continue on in uh, uh, Numbers 24 and 15. He took up the spirit and said, Balaam the son of Bar have said, and the man whose eyes are open have said, he have said, which heard the words of God and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. I shall see him, but not now. I also prove that in the latter days. Uh, I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of, the, out of Jacob, and a Ooh. scepter shall rise out of Israel. Ooh. The scepter shall rise out of Israel. Oh, another thing too, Israel's a man, not a woman. Okay. Israel's a man. And you know you got female Israelites, obviously. But the lineage is all, is all determined by the seed of your father. Like, it doesn't matter who your mother was. Nationality is only determined by the seed of your father. So the Lord, he, he's an Israelite because he descends from the patrilineal line of Jacob, of Israel. He descends from the patrilineal line of David, King David. That's why he said, I am the root and the offspring of David. He didn't say, I'm the root and the offspring of Mary. He didn't say that. <laughs> seed of Mary. The seed of Mary. Right, a woman don't have a seed. Only a man has a seed. Madness. Yeah, that's madness. So there is no virgin birth in the Bible. That's crazy. Y'all believe that, you crazy. Star out of Jacob, you know, that that Yahweh shot, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the. Oh 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 oh! That's fire! Hold oh, no, on, that's talking about the Messiah. He, oh oh! He said, "What he say? Going to smite the Moabites? The Moabites are heathens. They're Gentiles." He just said that the Savior, the one y'all call Jesus, is running as Yahweh shot. He said, "Yahweh shot going to smite the Mo. He going to smite Moabites." He gonna smite heathens. Wow. Where, where you at? Read that again. That was fire. Read it all again. That was fire. Yeah, yeah, I just wanna hear it again. I'm sorry. I just I see him but not now, I should behold him, but not nigh. They shall come out of Zion, and out of come a star out of Jacob and the center shall rise out of Israel, and smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Seth. Oh, Israel shall be violently. Oh, that's fire. So they said that Esau gonna be a possession. They're gonna go into slavery. That's talking about the kingdom. In the kingdom of heaven, all the heathens they're gonna get uh, broken into pieces. 
Oh, you get you got more to that? Yeah. Okay. I had a Jacob shot come heat that shall have the vineyard and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said Amalek was the first was the first of the <laughs> nations. <laughs> 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 I thought, I thought he thought you was, you was his brother. Yeah. He said, and he, uh, he looked on Amalek, which is another tribe of Edom, so-called fake rats, fake Jews. Yeah, the so-called Jews in the state of Israel, they're not the real Jews, obviously. They're a bunch of demons. Bastard. Bastages. He says, he took up this parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he should perish forever. Yep. He's going to perish. Right now he's on top, so he's going to be on bottom. You know, what, the table's going to get turned. You know what I mean? Hey, that goes right into this. That's a fire scripture right there, man. Uh, where do I want to start? Man. Well, I, I, do, I have to jump around. Uh, six in... All right, that's the second Ezra's. This is the apocrypha. Oh, that's another thing. The Christians took the apocrypha out. I was arguing with this Christian today. He said he said a real Bible has 66 books. I was like, 66? That sounds satanic to me, bro. You know what I mean? If your Bible just got 66 books, you have an incomplete Bible. It's the second Ezra's uh, six and seven. I mean. Yes. Yeah, then, then answered I and said, "What shall be the parting asunder of the times?" This is latter time. Pro this is the end time prophecy. What shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth it? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth it. And this is the end. He told you it was the end, the parting of sun or the time. Talking about the end times. So he said, let me read it again. He said, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth it. Jacob ain't, we, we ain't in power yet. This, haven't, this has not even happened yet. So Esau, the end of the world. But we're going to be the beginning of and it can't, because the world, the, really the world not going to end. The world as you know it's going to end. Really, we're going we gonna to enter into a new age, which is really the beginning, not the end. It's really the beginning. The beginning of the kingdom of Israel. And that, that's, that's the kingdom of heaven, is the kingdom of Israel. Oh, what is that? You read that part where it's the hill? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, read it again? Uh, yeah, I read it. And he said unto, uh, I'll read it again. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, and that's a good point too, though, because he, uh, he's pretty much breaking down the meaning of Genesis uh, 25. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. And this is what this meant. Because that was a prophecy right there. When uh, Jacob was holding on to Esau's hill, that was a prophecy. That was a sign. That was an omen. And this is what that meant. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth it. And that's why Esau was born first. Because he was, you know, the, he's ruling right now. But we're going to rule next. Oh, I was going to say we got next. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. You can't even say that no more. You think that there was some Israelites that ruined it. Like, you don't want to be associated with certain Israelite groups. They got people always coming out here. Oh, is y'all with their guys with their white, red and white? Like, no, we are not with them. Oh, death is in the air. Got the popo. Death is in the air, bro. A whole lot of death is in the air. 
Y'all see what happened over there in China? People dropping dead left and right, bro. That, that could that could come it. here next. It already is here. Yeah, you're right. It already is here. A couple niggas got affected. Yep. I said a couple. Bro. No, it's probably more than that. It's already in Thailand. It's fucking... So spread already spreading like crazy right The now. Most High taking all kind of people. You see what it did to your boy Kobe? Most High ain't playing, man. Yeah, take any one of you, including us. Take us out at any moment, bro. Out too. And his baby. Yep. Yeah, most high. Like, uh, most high cold, man. Yeah, 13 years old. Really, yeah, it's grown ass woman. Fuck it. Yeah, that's true. Even if she was a younger, the hood, hey, the was terrible. The hood flooded the whole earth. That, most, that killed babies. That killed retarded people. That killed, you know, uh, uh, uh whatever. You think of little cute little whatever. Little, little, uh, little toddlers yep. and shit. Whatever, all of them. I start looking at my own children. I have children. I look at my own children. I know the most. If I if I start being wicked, the most high can take my children now. You know what I mean? The most high is to be feared. You need to be feared, greatly feared. That's why uh, the scripture said, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Fear, and he's fear and trembling. Yeah. I'm off. I didn't mess up. Uh, go ahead. Shit. What you got? Oh, we don't matter. Yeah, the scripture was about to read, didn't you? Yeah, but I mean, it was... That's cool. If you got another scripture. If you got some of mine. It has the spirit, bro. The spirit of... The spirit of death. That's what's in... That's what's on the menu. <laughs> that damn Chinese people eating bad soup. Yeah, that's a uh, Exodus 19. But yeah, he says breakthrough a few times though. That's that's a cold way to say. Breakthrough. I'll help you out. Let's see if I can find something. Why start getting cold, bro? It looks dark in the movie out here, bro. That's good. Most high man, not playing. That was uh, that was only got for that one. Oh, for real? I thought I seen that in there more than once though. Breakthrough. Go ahead. Yeah, it's uh just an example of the reading judgment out of that exit. It says, you know how I said it's supposed to go down charge the people these they break. Through one two hour, okay, that's yeah. So I guess I wrote it. That's my. This is saying that now. These daybreak through two hour, two days, many of them perish. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Now there's one in scripture when the Lord said He's gonna break. It's right here, Exodus night. This is in Exodus nineteen. You keep twenty four. Oh. Right, right. Go ahead, you got it. it. Says, uh, when the hour sentence me away, get thee down, and thou shalt come up. Now inherit with me that not the use of the people break through to come and see how we see break forth on. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah, break forth. That's what it is. Break forth. Yeah, so you're not doing what the Lord said. He's going to break forth upon you. Well, what does that mean? That, just, that's, that, sound, that sound like some bad shit, right? You're going to break through. Break forth. I'm going to do the search on that break forth. Break forth. Oh, hey, look at this one. Oh, oh wait, that's a good one. Hold on a second. There's a, there's a bunch of them. Hold on. You got something? Go ahead. I'm going to read through these real quick. Oh, yeah, real quick. It's, uh, Isaiah 28, 7, 20. It says, Judgment also are late to the line, and righteousness to the plummet. And the and hell shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the water shall overflow the hiding place. And your covenant with death shall be disallowed, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. Oh, so that's what these these fools out here. This is the proper word. These fools out here, they done made a covenant with death. They didn't make a covenant. They broke the covenant with the heavenly Father. They broke His covenant. They no, they're not keeping the commandments. They don't give a goddamn about the scripture. These people, you talking about commandments? They gonna look at you like commandments? Like I can do what I want. But that's what the problem with y'all. Then you can do what you want, bro. That's why the Lord gonna break forth through on your bitch asses. 
He's going to break forth on you. He's going to destroy you. Go ahead. It says, and uh, when the overflowing scourge shall pass through. Oh, the overflowing scourge. Whew. Go ahead. And he shall be trodden down by, for the time that is going forth, it shall take you from morning by morning, shall I pass over and by night by night, and it shall be a vexation only to understand the report. Hey, oh, you got more to that? Uh, for the bed is shorter than the man can stretch himself on, and then cover and narrow. It said the bed is shorter than the man can stretch us forth. We gotta get this, this far. The bed is shorter than the man can stretch himself on. You know what that means, right? I mean, you think about it. They laying in the bed. They lay, they laying in the bed. That you don't even fit that bed, bro. It's like. Listen, like the old saying. Uh, the britches, you too big for the britches. How's that saying go? You know, it's one of those sayings, man. It's like you try, you doing too much. You know, that's pretty much what it's saying. Y'all doing too much. That's pretty much what it's saying. Yeah. yeah. The covering never uh, then it can wrap yourself in it. So yeah, y'all can wrap yourself in the little comforts of your home or whatever. That shit gonna be overflow. Shit, we gonna break through your bitch ass. None of that comforts are gonna come. You gonna be drinking. That shit ain't gonna do shit for you. You be smoking. That shit ain't gonna do for you. Look, it's gonna make you suffer. I ain't suffering now. That's how they are now. Look at all these men. This, this is pre, America is pretty much a country of drug addicts, alcoholics, especially Columbus. I know Columbus is almost every, almost everybody's doped up on some shit, and it's still not killing their pain. They, you know, that's why these dope, the dope fiends, they got to shoot up nonstop. They, it still don't kill their pain. What the fuck is this? Are oh, they come to put out the fire? <laughs> it got so hot over here, bro. They like, oh, we gotta put that out. Well, they start spraying us, bro. They. fucked <laughs> up. Oh shit! It got too hot. They got the new scriptures are so fire. They hold a, had to call the fire department. We'll get them on camera, bro. Hey, what's going down, bro? Here I come to save the day. Esau to the rescue. But uh, when Yahweh shall rise up as in a mount for his own, he shall be dwarf, like he shall be wrath as in a valley of Gideon, that he may do his work, his, his strange work, and bring to pass his act, his strange act. Now therefore, be ye not mockers, be sure hand. Your band be made strong, for I had heard from the Lord God of hosts the consumption, even determined upon the whole earth. Ooh, that consumption on the whole earth. Yeah, that, that's the spirit. We were just talking about that, that dumbass mem shit. Now, we talking about the, the memes. World War three, yeah, the fucking coronavirus people who make a joke about it. The Lord said, don't be a mocker, good Lord. You be that guy. Yeah, I was seeing all kind of memes, and people so dumb. They making memes about a coronavirus showing like Corona beer, you know, like y'all fucking re retards, bro. That Corona, you gonna be laughing when your ass catch a coronavirus and you laying dead in, or your baby, your little baby laying dead in the middle of the street. People just stepping over dead bot. Bro, I was watching videos. There's so many people dropping dead from that coronavirus. They got dead bodies littered about in the streets. People got to step over the bodies. They dropping dead left and right, bro. You tripping over bodies. Y'all think that's not gonna come here? Like I said, there's already a couple cases in America right now. That shit is highly contagious. Highly contagious. So that coronavirus, that's going if it's not a it's gonna be something else. If it's not that, it'll be something. The Lord gonna fuck y'all up. Y'all deserve to get fucked up. Says. It says, now therefore be ye not mockers. Be yeah, that's what, be not mockers. Be, they love to mock at the Lord. They, they love to, you know what I'm saying? They think it's all, everything's a joke. All right, see, it's a joke. Like I said, they won't make fun of the coronavirus. They make fun of all this shit. Okay, the most high got you. Go ahead. She says, at least your band be made strong. 
But I've heard from the Lord God of hosts the consumption even determined upon the whole earth. So the Lord is determined. If the Lord is determined, if he said he's going to do it, then he's going to do it. He ain't going to be no liar. So if he said he's going to bring destruction, death and pain, that's what's going to happen. Let me do a word search on pestilences. It's just like, it's just like you, you go out and fight somebody and they talking shit, yeah, I'm going to beat your ass. Yeah. There's a chance he can't be cheap, but you might be his ass. Well, the Lord, he's, he's a man of his word. That's he why the, he's gonna do it. That's why the most I hate, hate a proud spirit. You hate a proud spirit, you know what I mean? Make your last dollar on this. Lord ain't no, uh, uh, what's it called? Ain't no hope. <laughs> the Lord ain't no hope. <laughs> like <laughs> nah. <laughs> shit. Hey, hey, that, he's not a hoe. Get Exodus 15 and 3. <laughs> Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord ain't no hoe. Shit. The Lord is a man. This is Exodus 15 and 3. It says, Yahweh, which is the Most High's name, is a man of war. The Lord is a, and really in the Hebrew, it don't say Lord. In Hebrew, it says Yahweh. It's the Most High's actual name. So, okay, read that. Yahweh is a man of war. How is his name? So he, he's a man. He said he's a man. He's not a woman. He got people say, oh, God is a woman. Y'all should you gotta get slapped for saying that or something. You know what I mean? That's blasphemy. That's black. That's why you think he called the Heavenly Father. When you say the Lord's Prayer, what do you say? Our Father who art in heaven, not our mother. Okay, so the Lord is a man of war. He ain't no punk. He's the mighty. He's the almighty. Oh. When you see that God Almighty, back to the Hebrew. When you see it says God Almighty in, he, uh, in the English, you look that up in Hebrew, it says Allah Shaja. And Allah Shaja, Allah, that means God, and Shaja in Hebrew means a terrible demon like power or a demon. So the Lord, He's like a terrible demon like power, meaning he, He's going to be like that to the wicked. You know what I mean? The Most High is terrible. Most high is not to be played with. He will fuck you up. Matthew 24, 7. For let's go, I did a search on pestilences. That's only in the Bible twice. I thought it'd be in probably a different word. Yeah, I, can, I got a pocket from this too. But that's at Matthew 24 though. And this is the prophecy unfolding. So that's how you know the oh. scriptures is real. Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in different places. Now we got all of that going on right now, bro. You got you got uh, the threats of World War III breaking out. You know, the United States finna go with uh, war with Iran, and North Korea, China, and Russia. You know, all the nations all coming against America. And then it said, nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine. This famine is all over the world. You see what's happening down in uh, Venezuela. They had no food. They was eating pigeons and dogs. When they ran out of pigeons, oh, that's my phone, dog. But then it, what it's going to say by the earth, it made crazy earthquakes popping off. Okay, uh, all kind of tectonic movement going on. What's that earthquakes down there? You see the... Uh, Where's that last earthquake? Puerto Rico? Is that Puerto Rico? All kind of volcanoes fit to erupt. Down in the Philippines, I think a volcano is done kill all kind of people. And it mentioned, what else did it mention? I forgot the last part. Hey, hey this shit is going down, man. It's only the fucking first month of 2020. 2020 started down. off with a bang, bro. Oh, sorry, he's, he's giving y'all a warning. He's giving you that warning. It's high time. Really, you should look at Kobe. The most high took out Kobe. You should look at that as a warning. You know what I mean? So if he can get touched, that means you definitely can get touched. You know what I mean? You should be you should be afraid when you see something like that happen. He took out Kobe and his daughter, bro. Now you should be when you see something like that, you should be afraid. You could be next, you know what I'm saying? Solomon 6 and uh, 5 says, uh, Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, for sharp judgment Ooh. shall be 
to them that be in high places. Oh, he's oh a high place. Oh, if what Kobe was in a high place, wasn't he? Oh, what's that scripture? In the, uh, I'll go finish this. One. He said horribly and speedily would come on in my high. There's another scripture too. It says don't envy like a, a rich man or something because you don't know what's gonna be the end of him. I the one I think is in the it's probably more than one. The one I'm thinking about is in the apocalypse though. I can't. My phone dad, I can't look it up. I ain't got it memorized. Yeah, so you that's I mean that's the scripture. You shouldn't be envious, you know, these rich and famous people. You know, here it is, like Kobe, you're looking up to Kobe like, man, I wish I was in Kobe's uh, feet. No, I, I wish I was Kobe, you know what I mean? But do you wish you was Kobe now? You know what I mean? Nah, bruh. You don't, you don't, because you don't know what is going to be the end of these people. Like all these rappers, y'all. I wish I was a famous rapper. <laughs> Having the rappers locked up in prison or getting shot and killed. OD and all, with your boy Juice World. He's out of there, bro, gone. You know what I'm saying? Gone. He's gone. I'm sick of this. He's gone. Oh, He's gone. <laughs> Kobe gone. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's like, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I don't know. That might be like a, like a movie scene or something. I know. That's... What the fuck? <laughs> It's funny though, because it's like, yeah, bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because judgment upon you wicked ass niggas is making people sad. It's funny. That's what I need a reality check. Motherfucking, uh, under this one comedian, it's like, uh, he makes videos, skits and shit. Ha ha, Davis. Ha ha? His name's Ha ha? No, it's not real. Name. Oh. <laughs> I think his name is Davis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was like, yeah, man, this, this show me, this show me, uh, this show me true or something. He's like pretty much he's saying like true light. This is this is light. He said, man, this shit's serious, man. This is this is reality. It's making people wake up, see this world ain't no joke. Well kill everybody on that motherfucking helicopter. Man, that's old man, shit women, uh not women. Yeah, women the well, she's a woman. Young a young woman. Yeah. But right now though, they they not suffering, bro. That's what y'all don't get. Y'all afraid of death. Well, I'm talking about Kobe, the, the fallen, the people uh, that perish. If anybody die, once you go back to the spirit world, the Lord, you are resting. And Kobe, now he know, knows the truth in there. He knows he's an Israelite. And he's resting. He's resting with his fathers. Not in the reincarnation. But she, she, well, he had a beautiful wife. Uh, she's gonna be whoring it up now. He's dead. Think about that. She'll she'll do a little mourning and then she'll be sucking a dick within the week. That's what uh and that with your girl uh Lil Wayne's ex wife he didn't die. Well no yeah ex ex what the fuck his name is Lil Wayne's ex wife. She dated that uh that, that gray head nigga. Yeah, I heard nigga. something about that. The nigga that everybody when he died it was like he, he Jesus and shit. Talking about ex? Nah that the fucking Get your ass he's like he's from Africa back. or some shit. I don't, Jacob, I don't fucking know. Nipsey Hussle, whatever the fuck. Oh, Nip. Oh, that, that motherfucker. Oh. I forgot that nigga. Exactly. I didn't, be honest with you, I didn't even know who he was when yeah, he died. I did, yeah, yeah. I'm like, who was that? I mean, it was like a week before he died. I seen like, I never clicked on it, but I seen the picture of him being interviewed, but I never clicked on it. I ain't, I ain't give a fuck who that. Yeah, they acting like he was a messiah. He's a fucking crip. A gangbanger. He's like active. He wasn't just like, used to be a crip. No, he was active. Everybody said he was active. They being loyal to the gang, the game ain't loyal to you. It says, for mercy will soon pardon the Venus, but mighty men shall be mightily tormented. Ooh, it said mighty men shall be mighty tormented? Yes, sir. Ooh. It says, for which is, for he which is Lord over all shall fear no man's person. Neither shall, nor, neither shall he Standing in awe of any man's greatness. He, the Lord was like, oh man, I should have killed Kobe. What, what the fuck is Yeah, but the most high was like, oh, Kobe got 81. I'm going to just. Yeah, I'm going to let him stop. Man, bro, keep going. The Lord, the Lord. Lord, the Lord, said, the Lord. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> and that goes for anybody, bro. We just ain't trying to get on Kobe, man. But that's in the news. I mean, we like Kobe. I'm, 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 I'm a basketball guy, you know what I mean? I, that's, I do a lot of bad. I can hoop it up, bro. You know what I mean? So who don't like Kobe? We're like, come on, but we just speaking the real to you. I mean, as a player, as an athlete.
You know what I mean? That's what I really, I really don't know. I mean, he's top five. You know what I mean? Trash. And now he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> but he's resting. He's resting though. He's resting. So he's at peace now. Like I said, I never heard him talking about the Most High. Never heard him speak any kind of truth to nothing. This crap shit out. I see. I ain't click on the video, but I see the brothers say like he's like doing some rich crap shit or whatever. So, some shit. He probably was. I mean, I, I ain't seen too much on Kobe. There probably is stuff out there. I ain't really looked into it. He was doing like the six 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 shit. Oh yeah, he did do that a lot. A lot of them guys. LeBron does the same shit. They do that. I ain't gonna do it. You do it on a video. They be like, see. They hear. See. <laughs> LeBron does it all the time. Oh, Shaq or Shaq does it too. Shaq, Shaq though, Shaq's a Freemason. So that tell you right there, Freemasonry is in basketball. You can, Shaq is open about his shit. He was on ESPN, get on uh, YouTube. He Actually, he still wears his ring all the time. But there's a YouTube video where Shaq talks about his free, Freemason ring. He's like, yeah, I'm a Freemason. And he's a fucking cop. You know, he's a, like a uh, reserve cop or some shit. <laughs> but you know, Shaq kind of retarded, though. That was a big, wicked ass dude. That nigga Second, he, next. he was bragging about being a Freemason, man. You know that shit. You ain't, you know that shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? That that's some straight devil worship. That's true. I remember what it was like. What was that year like 2018, whatever. All them celebrities started dying and shit. Some shit. But somebody made a post like, oh my god, 2018, taking all these celebrities out. It ain't 2018, nigga. It's the Lord taking these motherfuckers out. Well, motherfuckers never give the credit to the Lord. They're always giving it to credit to Satan or, or to the year, to Mother Nature. I get that, uh, most high, uh, kills it, he make it for life. Is that Sam? The most high gives and he takes away. Hey, so, like Kobe, bro, he gave Kobe what? He gave him millions of dollars. The most high gave that to him. Okay, and then he took it away. That's the way it works. And that's a balance though, you see that balance? That's balance to that. Jeff, you know where it's at? Like Sega or something? Same. I just like saying same. Same. First seven is two. And uh, six says, I will kill it and make it alive. Bring it down to the grave and bring it up. How do you bring up? That's reincarnation. You know what I mean? He, he... <laughs> so yeah, the most high kills and he makes alive. So he's responsible for death. He's responsible. He's responsible for life. He's responsible for everything. So like Kobe. Kobe gonna come back in the reincarnation in the kingdom. You know what I mean? He's gonna be resurrected in the kingdom. And he's gonna be in his right state of mind. He's gonna follow the laws. He's gonna know he's an Israelite. And he's gonna be in the kingdom. Same with his daughter. But the first, the most high that had to take him out, though. Really, the most high had mercy on him. He didn't have to go through the shit that's coming. Think about that. Y'all don't know that the evil days is coming. So he, he let him off easy. He could have got it a whole lot worse. You know what I mean? Yeah. They probably, had, they probably had time to think about it. A few seconds to think about it. Just imagine the screams. Terrified. The Lord is terrified, man. The Lord ain't nothing to be played with. That's a good example, though, man. Beautiful. 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 Not you. But she kind of beautiful though. Yeah, no, yeah, well, I would say beautiful, but she, she probably thought we said she was beautiful. Uh, we saw Mother Lord bringing forth this judgment is beautiful, and then a woman walks by, she probably thought we was talking about her. You know how these women, they think everything's about her. You know how the women is. They, 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 they crave attention. I 
wish I knew where that one scripture was. My phone got, I can't look it up. You know what? We can just start reading some scriptures. What's uh? uh I, I got a scripture. I'll go ahead. You got oh, you got something else? Yeah. I just want to read some more scriptures. Let's we'll go to this battery dies. You got somewhere to be? No, I thought. That's cool. I was trying to think of this one scripture that we all die like a flower in the grass and so No, oh, that too. There's a song. That man, it just made me think of that song. He got the whole world in his head. He really, hey, that song, that song was lit though when you was little. And hey, that's true though. He got the whole world in his hands, bro. <laughs> Most high controls everything. Isaiah 40. Let me get that. I'll go back and see if I can find that song. I don't think that was 103. I don't know where that's at. This is 100 and something. Well, let me get this Isaiah right quick. Man, I am not used to this Bible, man. You know, we get a new Bible and everything's in different places. Isaiah 45 and... Ooh, ah. It did get a little cold, did it? Do your water? water. It's probably ice cold, ain't it? Water. Drinking cold water is bad for you. Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So if we tell, if we say that, if we say, oh, the Lord killed Kobe, they'll say, oh, that's fucked up. They're like, what kind of God would do that? Well, first of all, if you believe the Most High created you, did he create you to be an immortal being? Did you know anybody that lived forever out here? Nah, that's the Most High that made you like that. He made it so that we all die. But through this truth, we're going to get everlasting life. In the kingdom, we're going to live forever. Not right now. So the Lord, the Most High God, He created the good and He created the evil. When something evil happens to you, that was the Most High that did that to you. It wasn't Satan. Satan works for the Most High. They, the, the, the dumb Christians are saying, oh, Satan, he rebelled against God. Where's that in the scriptures, bro? They tell you in the scriptures that Satan, he obeyed the Most High's commands. He does the bidding of the Most High. You know, the Most High sent him down to the earth. Pretty much fuck with people. <laughs> oh, this shit, the camera about to die. You got any last words? Hey, we're going to say, uh, we're going to close it out. We're going to say, uh, call hello, la, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakudash. We about it there. Shalom. Well, we stop.